Here we have an Acer F15 laptop that has a broken LCD screen. If we power it up we can see for definite that the screen, screen is bad. So we're going to power it down, hold in the button for a few seconds. And this is probably the easiest laptop that I've come across to replace a screen in before. We start off by prying off the inside bezel, plastic bezel on the screen, so we can get our nails in and just unclip the plastic clips the whole way around. To remove the bezel completely we fold the screen fully back and we can unclip the hooks from the hinges. There are four screws that hold the LCD screen in place. These are a small Phillips head screw. We can now just fold our screen down and get access to our connector on the bottom. To remove the connector from the bottom of the screen we peel black the little sticky tab that holds it on. And then very gently pull it out. So here's our replacement on the right. We can check that it's the same pin header, it's a 30 pin header as our old one and that the mounting tabs and everything are the same. When you're going to order your screen, this is an Inalux screen. The model number for this one is N156GBE-E32. That's the code you need, the one above the serial number on the barcode. If you give that to the manufacturer or the shop that you're buying the screen from, they should be able to match you the exact screen. The new one for this laptop came in only around £30, so it's fairly inexpensive as they go. To install the new screen, we can simply place it down and pop our connector back in. Make sure that it's fully seated in the socket and reuse the sticky tape if it's still sticky enough. If not, put on an extra bit of solid tape and then fold up the screen and secure in the four screws again. Before we put the plastic trim back on the front, we're going to power it up just to confirm the screen is good. Looks good to me. So we can peel off the protective plastic. And pop the bezel back on. I'll just start at the bottom, make sure it's on at the two hinges first and then just slowly work our way around. And that's that job finished. That was very easy, something anybody could do requires no special tools or skills.
Okay, hopefully that was useful. Thank you. Bye-bye.